What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough. Okay, so we finally made it to Olivine City, and uh, before we even, I don't know, took, took like first 50 steps into Olivine City, our rival was being a jerk saying that, you know, our gym leader here in Olivine City is not at the gym. She's taking care of a Pokemon that's sick at the lighthouse. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to take a small tour of Olivine City, then we're going to go to the lighthouse and... Uh, see what happens from there you know so here it is all of mine city we're gonna go right here first because there's something important here somebody is gonna give me something important talk to this guy I think ha your Pokemon sure look like lightweights they don't have power or the power to move boulders aside here use this to teach them the strength move so here we have the HMO4 very important move very good move and let's see honestly the only thing you can uh, count on is your own good self I'm so proud of my buff bod. <laughs> are all are all sailors that conceited? I'm just wondering. Are they all conceited? I I just don't know. Talk to this guy. He's like, whenever I roll into town, I always uh, visit the Olivine Cafe. Everything on the menu makes me feel stronger. I can't stop eating. Well, that's good for you, homeboy. But I don't really care. Okay, so. Uh, we'll go there just a little bit. Um, let's see. There's somebody else here that might give us a little something. Let's see. Talk to this guy. See you. Sweet sunsets on the sea are marvelous. Sing with me. Yo ho. Blow the man down. Okay. That is not appropriate right here, boy. Not appropriate. Okay. So if you go right here and talk to this guy, he's like, all mine is on the sea and and if it's on the sea, there's uh, there are bound to be fish. I've fished here for 30 years. Would you like to face the sea and the fish? Heck yes. Well, we find ourselves a new angler. Let's see. Draven received a good rod. We got ourselves a good rod. Okay, so this actually ups our, our, our little uh, fishing thing because now we can get more Pokemon other than, uh, whatchamacallit, yeah, Magikarps. So, let's see, let's see, let's see. What should we do right here? You know what? Let's screw around with that good rod right here. Might be something uh, fun, you know, fun to fish for sometimes. Let's see. Press it, and would you look at that? We got it. It's like, oh, a bite. So let's see what Pokemon we can get with the good rod. And would you look at that? It's a Krabby. Huh. Level 20 female. That's a pretty good Pokemon. Okay. Um. You know what? Lick attack. And a, par a, par a paralysis. That's good stuff. Good stuff right there. All right. And hmm. All right. Cool. You know what? I got a lure. I got a lure ball right here. Maybe I should use that. See if it actually works perfectly. So lure ball, go. Mhm. Mm Alrighty. Lure ball, stay in there. Come on. That's right. So we got ourselves a crabby now. The reason I caught this Krabby is because, no, we're not using him on our team. Don't freak out, guys. Seriously, don't freak out. Um, there is an individual right here that uh, that will want to trade a an Electric-type Pokemon for a Krabby. And I'm going to show you guys that right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the PC. And you guys might see some Pokemon that you've never seen on my team or anything like that. Because, yes, I do capture Pokemon offline or... Off screen. So I'm gonna put Teddy Ursa back into the box just for this moment right here, and let's go with Krabby right here. As you can see, I did catch her quite a few Pokemon right there, off screen. So yeah, it makes me kind of the collector and all that stuff. So let's go back up here. There's a Pokemon. You know, every town has to have a Pokemon, except for uh, Sinewood City or something. So if you go right here, talk to this guy, he's like, Hi, I'm looking for this Pokemon. If you have a Krabby, would you trade it for a Voltorb? Heck yes. Let's go with the Krabby. Okay, connect the game link cable. So as you can see, we are trading yet again into this game. You know, we don't really need the Voltorb right now, but you know, it's a good it's a good thing to have. Good Pokemon to, to have in your collection and whatnot. I'm just doing it for like, you know, just to show it off to you guys. That's all I want to do. I just want to show off some stuff to you guys. So Krabby was sent to Tim. All right, Timmy Tim. Send me the Pokemon that you want to give us. Let's see, Voltorb. Now, he could, you know, he could save him the, the, the 
you know, he could save him some time by just going to the angler. But I'm pretty sure he doesn't like the fish. So here it is. We got ourselves a Voltorb. That's some scary Pokemon right there. Very fast Pokemon, but yeah, whatever. Draven traded for Krabby, or Krabby for Voltorb. Pretty good stuff, good stuff. All right, great. I finally got a Krabby. That's good. All right, so moving on forward. You talk, uh, you go in here. Let's see, talk to this girl. Whenever I get in trouble, Daddy always scares me. Hmm. Okay. Along the way to Sinewood, there are four deserted islands. Bad kids are taken to the islands as punishment. Eh, well, maybe back then, but now since we live in such a, I don't know, such a, I don't want to get into it, but you know what I mean. It'd probably be used as you uh, as cruel and unusual punishment. I don't know. Going back to the PC, let's go deposit this Pokemon that we pretty much don't need. Vaulty. That's right. It's the Vaulty. And let's go ahead and withdraw our Pokemon. As you can see, look at all the Pokemon I captured, including that Lapras that we got a few episodes ago. And uh, there's my Teddy. There's my Teddy. Hello, Teddy. I've missed you. I've really, I've really missed you. Okay. So before we go into the Light Tower, let's go right here. Actually, let's read this. Battle Tower! Uh, now ahead. Okay, so in Pokemon uh, Crystal... Only in Pokemon Crystal, um, they've added an extra feature to this game, and it's the Battle Tower. Now, if you talk to these people, I'm pretty sure they don't want to battle you. It's like, I came to Olivine by ship to see the sights and soak up the atmosphere. Being a, being a port, it feels different from Big City. Okay, so that's good stuff, I guess. Talk to this guy. Have you gone to the Battle Tower? I think a lot of tough trainers have gathered all there already. But since you have so many badges, you shouldn't do badly at all. Yeah, now talk to this person. Let's see, although you can't see it from here, Sinewood is across the sea. It is true. And talk to this guy. Hmm, there's a big building up ahead. What is it? Hmm, well, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Uh, talk to more of these people right here. Are you going to the battle tower? This is a, sec uh, this is a secret, but if you win a whole lot, you can get win special gifts. And, uh, well, let's see, levels of the Pokemon I want to use all different, but you have to go train them now, which is true. You have to train all your Pokemon. Now, here it is, the Battle Tower. Hee hee, I snuck out from work. I can't bail out until I won. I've won. I have to win, and it, well, that's it, I must. Oh, wow, he, he's really into this. So, this is the Battle Tower right here. This is an, an add-on to Pokemon Crystal, as well as the moving sprites and all that stuff. Um, it, you can actually train your Pokemon, or not really train your Pokemon, but use your Pokemon to battle different kinds of trainers right here. Um, let's see, what does this say? Battle Towers rules are written here. Read the rules, yes. Three Pokemon may enter battles. All three must be different. The items they hold must be uh, must also be different. Certain Pokemon may also have level restrictions placed on, uh, on the time. So, you have different kinds of levels right here in the battle room. Um, the explanation right here is like the battle tower is a facility made for Pokemon battles. Countless Pokemon trainers gather from all over and hold battles in the special, specially designed battle rooms. There are so many battle rooms in the, the ba battle tower. Each room holds seven trainers. Beat, uh, beat them all and win a prize. To interrupt a session, you must save. If not, you won't be able to resume your room challenge. So, we're not really going to battle right now, guys. I'm just showing you showing you guys around what's going on right here. But the Battle Tower is a was pretty much the first like the stepping stone to different kinds of challenges, especially in the Battle Frontier in Emerald uh, and all them other um, Pokémon versions like Emerald what was it? Platinum Did Black and White have them? Yeah. All those versions you guys know what I mean so we're not gonna go in there until quite possibly later on I don't know um, never did really well in that Pokemon Battle Tower but it is a very 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 challenging uh, room to actually go by so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into the battle or into the Pokemon uh, into the well into the lighthouse now one thing that I forgot to mention this is the port the fast the, the Olivine port fast ship pier you can only go by right here until you've actually defeated the Pokemon League. So, 
one of those things right there. So stay, I'll be right back in just a little bit, guys. Got to do something real quick. Alrighty, so I had, I, I had to go to the restroom real quick, guys. I'm really sorry, but yeah, when I had to go, when you have to go, you have to go. Okay, so we're going into the lighthouse right here, and well, it, it's it's an interesting place because you can battle against a, a few trainers right here. It's actually a very good way for us to actually uh, to actually gain a, a few more levels. So what we're gonna do is switch up our Pokemon and get give those who don't have enough uh, experience points or enough battle points or whatever or not battle points but enough levels to a uh, uh, crack at these people. So. What I did off screen too is I did teach Teddy uh, the strength technique over its he its uh, headbutt attack. So, you know, it's another move, physical move that you know it can use. And uh, we're gonna go up here first level, and this is where the battles begin right here. Now these open gaps, you can actually go back down to the first room. So that's those are those, those are a few things that we're gonna be using once we get back uh, back down here. So he's like, hmm, this is a this is no place for playing. Bro, come on, I'm 28 years old. In the 10-year-old's body, which is hilarious, and he comes out with a Noctowl. This is the first time right here. Noctowl. Scary Pokemon. Very, very scary Pokemon. Okay, let's go with that strength attack. Look at that. He's throwing that big old boulder. Take that, Noctowl. And there goes Noctowl. Bye bye that's a, that's a nice amount of points right there. Look at that. Alfred's been defeated. Ah, I can see you're serious. Well, yes, I am. Okay, so that was uh, that was an interesting one. And you know what? Maybe I should go with Kid Thunder right here because, you know, they might have another Noctel around here somewhere. I, I do remember that. So let's go ahead and battle this guy right here. He's like, men of the sea are always spoiling for a good fight. Really? All right. Let's see. Let's see how well you can do right here. So here we have Huey, Sailor Huey, and he wants to battle. He's gonna come out with his Poliwag. Perfect. Alrighty. Let's go, Kid Thunder. Do the Thunder Pants. I mean Thunder Punch. Thunder Pants. Or Thunder Cats. I don't know. Either or. Pretty good Pokemon or pretty good names or something. And will he come out with another Water Pokemon? Yes, he does come out with another Water Pokemon and. It's a pretty good one. Kind of stronger. But let's go with that Thunder Punch. Make him look bad. Bye bye. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Alrighty. So that was easy. Hmm. So let's keep Kid Thunder up there. See what happens. Okay. So there's that guy right there. And uh, this guy looks like a flying type Pokemon. He's like, why are you here? Are you. Are you just going to, uh, to Gok? I suggest that you leave. Why do people want me to leave? I'm like trying to figure that out. So here we have Bird Keeper. What? Bird Keeper Theo coming out with his Pidgey. And I'm just gonna continue on with Kid Thunder here. Kid Thunder. Let's go with that Thunder Punch. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is Kid Thunder's. Uh, this is Kid Thunder's uh, place right here. He's gonna dominate this whole place. And, well, he's coming out with his uh, Pidgey, so more money, more money for Kid Thunder right here. And, wow, didn't expect that. Yeah, really didn't expect that right there. And there goes Pidgey. Bye bye Alrighty, alrighty, okay, so he's going to come out with another Pidgey. Pretty sure he has like one or two evolved Pokemon right there, but just Pidgeys. What is it with these bird keepers in there? In there, in there? In, in their bird type Pokemon, why wouldn't they just pick some other ones? Huh, there we go. And another Pidgey, okay. Making me feel pretty dominant right here, boy. Making me feel dominant. So let's go again with the Thunder Punch. Really wish it learned another move because I'm running out of Thunder Punches right here. And wow, nearly grows to level 27. So he has a team of Pidgeys. That's kind of bad. That's kind of sad. Let's go with this. Mm-hmm. There we go. Oh, yes. That's right. Didn't like that, huh? Level 27, Kid Thunder. Being Kid Thunder, you know. Being the man. You really are concerned. Huh. Concerned about what? 
How the heck do you get or how the heck do you go up? I want to visit the sick Pokemon, but I can't get up there. Um, you don't have flying type Pokemon? I mean, you don't have the fly technique. Okay, so I can understand that. Alright, uh, he probably has a Noctowl, so I want to see if I can uh, do that. He's like, I travel the world to train my Pokemon. I wish to battle with you. Alright, homeboy. You asked for it. Get ready to take these, uh, get, catch these hands. Alrighty. Oh, he's coming out with his Growlithe. Okay, so I didn't expect that. Alright, Kitenda. Do your stuff. Swift attack. Takes a nice, a nice amount, and there's that roar attack. Doesn't do damage, but it just switches us out. And you picked the wrong person to drag you out. Here we go with the surf attack. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. How do you like that? You don't like it. And uh, more experience points for our Pokemon right here. And well, he's coming out with another Growlithe, so I'm gonna stick by with my Lucky right here. And Lucky, use that surf attack. Destroy him. Oh, yeah. That is a... That is a very good move right there. And, uh... Look at that. Preston's been defeated. Huh. I must try, try and train some more. That is true. I'm gonna move on. Don't want to talk to you. And there's that lady right there. I am going to switch it out. Let's see. Let's go with Toxic Batman. Need to even out our Pokemon right here. And she's like, Jasmine is this uh, city's gym leader. I mean, to bring her back with me, nobody had better get in my way. Hmm. Alrighty. She's really concerned. Everybody's concerned about these Pokemon trainers and this Pokemon. So her name is Connie. She's coming out with her Meryl, her Pika Blue. And, uh, talks to Batman. You're gonna do your stuff right here, right? Let's go. Bite. Oh yes, I was training off screen, fainted before I could even, uh, <laughs> fainted before he could even level up, so I just kept it at that. And there's that swift attack, nothing more than a lot of points lost, and let's finish it off with Leech Life. You know, weak as attack, but you know, it still gives me HP, right? Look at that. Bye bye And it grows to level 28, good stuff right there. Doesn't learn anything. It just doesn't. So, he's like, ah, my Pokemon! You lost. Okay, so the next area we have to go through is right here, but what we need to do right now is we're just going to be battling all these trainers first. So, let's see. Let's battle this, this guy. Jasmine must be worried sick about the Pokemon here. She won't even smile these days. Hmm. It's kind of sad. It really is. I feel bad. People are making me feel sad about this. So, here you have Kent. Coming out with his crabs, I mean his crabby, and well, leech life. I didn't mean to press that. I, I kind of overpressed it a little. Okay, and there's that vice grip, which oh god, almost took a lot. But here we go, swift attack. Come on, finish him off. He does. Success. Alrighty, okay, so Kent is coming out with his Krabby. Let's go to, you know it, you love him, Kid Thunder. Kind of sounds like a boxing name. I think I said that before, but it sounds like a boxing name. Alrighty, Kid Thunder. Thunder Punch. And there's that win. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, nobody can stop Kid Thunder now. That's right. And what does he say? I can't manage to smile either. Huh. Well, I'm sorry. Shoot. This Pokemon must be very important. And I was wrong. I think I was wrong. Yeah, I was probably wrong. So we got another level right here. And there's an item right here that we need. TM34. And what does this thing do? Can't name them on the top of my head right here. So TM34 would have to be Swagger. Okay. So it causes confusion, but it raises the attack. Eh, it's kind of a risky move, and knowing my luck, it won't it won't help as much. So, let's see. Kid Thunder, let's do this again. Let's be men of Pokemon. Men of Pokemon. Yeah, he's like, we're pretty high up here. My bird Pokemon are in prime form. Yeah. How much you want to bet? 
I'm honestly betting how much you want to bet. So Dennis comes here, and he's coming out with a Spearow. Alright, Mr. Prime Form Pokemon, let's see what you can do with this. Kid Thunder. Thunder Punch. Alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty, look at that. Just domination, total and utter domination, and coming out with a Spearow yet again, so... Let's finish this guy off with this. Thunder Punch. Alrighty, alrighty. You're just winning. Just winning. Hashtag winning. And he's coming out with his Fearow, so this is a good one right now. I don't know who's faster, but that Fearow is scary, kind of scaring me. So let's go, Kit Thunder Punch. And... Does it defeat him? Yes, it does. A critical hit. Eat that, Fearow. Eat it. Alrighty, so Dennis has been defeated. He's like, oops, they crashed. Yes, they did. Yes, sir, they did. Alright, so moving on forward right here. I think there's one more trainer right around here. Nope. Found another rare candy. I mean, we could use that on a relic, but chances are it might not evolve. Which kind of bums me out because I really want him to evolve. Let's see. What do we do next? Oh, yes. Let's go down. Let's go down just a little bit more. Could be wrong. And really, Gina? Really, Gina? Yeah, so tough training. Yeah, I don't care. I really don't care. Don't care. Do not care. Thank you. Should probably. I should probably take her phone off, but she gives me leaf stones, which is pretty important. So let's go right here. And bam! Find ourselves with another trainer. He's like, sailors are both kind and strong. How about you? I'm kind. I'm strong. I'm funny. Pretty damn sexy. You know, I'm just one of, I'm just an all-out guy, you know? Pretty cool guy. And this guy comes out with his Polyroll. Very strong Pokemon. But mine is stronger with a Thunder Punch. Look at that. Love that sound. I've said that many times, but I love that sound, and it takes care of Polyworld right there. Bam. Level 28 for my kid Thunder. And there it goes. Terrell's been defeated, and he's like, you're both kind and strong. I think I said that. All right, so let's grab this. Found another ether. Or found an ether. All right. And let's go upstairs right here. And one more up here. And there's another trainer. Should I? Let's go. Okay, so let's go with Teddy. Teddy needs some battles right here. Let's do this. I wanted to battle Jasmine, but she's not up to it now. So how about you? I'm up to it. I'm ready to kick your butt whenever. You know. I'm just saying. And he, his name is Ernest. He's coming out with his Machop. Might have made a mistake right here because it is a fighting type Pokemon. Let's go, Teddy. Let's go. Strength attack. Very powerful Pokemon. Meets another powerful Pokemon, and there goes Machop. Bye bye Okay, so, let's see. Coming out with another Machop. I'm gonna take that risk. I'm really taking that risk right now. Let's go. Strength. Bye bye and there goes Teddy, or no, not the Teddy, but there goes Machop. And he is coming out with a Poliwhirl, so we're just going to keep it like that. Now we can use different other, well, different tacks. And, uh, you know what? Let's go with that rollout. Probably should have started with that. But then again, you know, you might have used a fighting type attack, which would have been very, very bad for my Teddy. So, possibilities are endless right here. So we go again with another rollout attack. Takes a huge chunk out of Poliwhirl's uh, move, or uh, HP. And uh, another rollout for the victory. That's right. How do you like me now? He's like, whoa, whoa, you're overwhelming. Yes, I am. Okay, so let's grab this right here. And we got ourselves a Super Rebel, first of its kind right here. Or in our adventure right now, I guess. And here we are in the top of the, the top of the tower right here. Now there might be an item here that I should get before I talk to her. Let's see. There's nothing. Oh, there's an item right there. Uh, okay, I'm gonna sneak by her and let's grab this item. 
Super Potion. Okay. Alrighty. Let's talk to her. This Pokemon always kept the, the seed lit at night. But it suddenly got sick. It's gasping for air. I understand that there is a wonderful pharmacy in Simewood, but that's across the sea. And I can't leave Amphion attended. May I ask may I ask you to come uh, to go get some medicine for me, please? Well, it looks like we're the errand boy for another person, and uh, yeah, this Amphi's not looking good. It's, yeah. Not looking good at all. So that is our next mission right there, guys. We need to go get medicine now. So now that that's taken care of. Yeah, we're going back down. All the way down. All the way down, down. And that's basically it for our little tour of both Olivine City and the Lighthouse. So our next adventure is we're going to have to go across the sea to, to get to Simewood City. So stay tuned, guys. In the next adventure, we will be going to Simewood City. Yeah. See you guys tomorrow.